box of hairstyles. Today we're going to do lace braided bangs. Keep watching. So I pulled back most of her hair and left the bangs out and I've kind of taken my part a little deeper on the side where we're going to end up. And then pull the rest of it out of your way, let those bangs out and brush them smooth. Then with lace braiding, it's like regular French braiding except on the one side next to her face, I'm not going to add any more hair. I'm only going to bring the side over and I'll only add hair to the other side. Let's see if that makes sense. So add, I'm, I have my section in the back and I'm going to add hair to that and cross it over. But when I bring up this side, I won't add any hair to it. Do the same thing. You have to remember to reach underneath and get the piece that would have gone with the other side if you, weren't, if you were doing a regular braid. Keep crossing over without adding in hair on that side. Now notice how my strands toward the back where the part is are much longer. You want to be sure to braid right along that hairline where the bangs follow the forehead so that you get this nice um, lace braided effect on your bangs. Stop and puff occasionally so that your braid looks a little more full and not as tight. And then keep going, following that angle, and each time you add a new section, pull it deeper than the section before so that we're getting a diagonal effect down the head. Really following that forehead angle. Keep on braiding, put it in an elastic, puff it to your desired thickness, then let her hair down. You can leave it down or you can pull it into a messy side bun like I've done. 